I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Ooh. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Yeah, this is a real help. Why don't you just worry about yourself? Kenny, calm down. I want to, Clem, but this son of a bitch keeps I just want to get the work done, and... Oh. Shit! Uh, that's not good. Uh, I have nails. Okay, I don't even have the box anymore. Okay, I got a plywood. Excellent. I guess it's better than nothing. Get him! We need something better than this. Okay, go hide. Go, 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 Clem. Go, go, go. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're getting away. We're getting away. He's right behind me. Shit. Okay, that's not good. Okay, let's try and push it back. Push it back now. Yeah. There we go. Ooh, perfect. Okay, this is out the frying pan into the fire. The, the ladder? Why would I pick up? Okay, that's probably too big for Glow Clem. There we go. But I don't know why I would choose the ladder. Shit. What? Did. Uh. Is that because I chose the. <laughs> the. It's because I chose the hammer, I guess? Okay, I need someone to use the ladder. There we go, I guess. Oh, I didn't see... There was a back... Okay, boy said back. I didn't see that. Okay. See, someone's that... I think maybe I'm going colorblind or something. So I don't always see that red. Oh, Jesus. All right. Okay. Yeah, I think I might be getting colorblind. So I can never. No! Why can't I. Why can't I. Why? No! What the hell? No! Oh, thank God. Phew. I tried really hard to get that done. I guess you just can't. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Well, at least he saved us, I guess. I mean, he didn't have to. Oh, thank God, you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? You know what? I wonder if he's all talk, because I've never seen him actually do anything bad. He's never actually hit anyone or shot anyone. I wonder if he's all just talk. Huh. But yeah. That was uh, pretty hectic. But yeah, I, oh, what the hell? Ah, for shake. Wait. Oh, that's Luke. I can see his, I can see his facial hair. Luke. Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. I think you drew blood. Come all this way. I recognize this, that face. This is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. I was worried. We all were. That was good to see you too, kid. All right. He actually Listen, came back. We ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere. Okay, they got guards watching everything. Shh, shh. Okay, yep. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, they kept mentioning something about those. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming, and it's gonna be soon. See, I've been looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. When do you think the herd will be here? I don't know. It's hard to say, really, but I reckon it'll wash over this place when it does. See, Carver? Oh, he ain't dealt with anything like this before. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but... Well, yeah, he doesn't look now. so good, actually. It's what we got. We just, we just need a plan, and you know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Yeah, he's not thinking clearly. He's tired. 
He did just say that he's not been sleeping. Luke. Oh, sorry, sorry, shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. Walkie-talkie. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stock room. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Clementine, get out where I can see you. Uh-oh. Go on, get out of here. But at least, no, that's good. It looks as though he's been trying hard to get to us. I knew he could trust me. How are you doing? Huh? Answer me. Look I at was comics. looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Yeah, you know, a kid goes in the shop, you know, likes comics. That makes sense, you know. He probably just thinks I'm some sort of... Oh, hey, it's, uh... That was... I've forgotten his name. That gag guy. I've forgotten his name. Dude, from the 400 days Donald content. Bill. He doesn't like to wait. So, you should probably go. I forgot all about him. He's ended up in this mess as well. Oh. Rebecca. What? She's What's happened there? Woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. Get in here. Ah, oh, Jesus. Why does he want to see me? Oh, apples. You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier. What's that chair? I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And we can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. I understand that, but you he didn't to deserve to die. To contribute. He didn't deserve that. Even if he messed up, he didn't deserve to die. Oh, he certainly did. You see, Reggie put us at risk with his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us to lead them to safety. You understand? Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility to shepherd the flock. To yeah, keep them safe. Us. It's their nature to follow, not to lead. I would let them talk. I let them talk. And we're more alike than you think. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing if I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. What if it's not yours? Well, even if that was true, it's mine now. Wow. All right, now. Bill, you there? Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. 
Well, he obviously likes me in some way. He well, respects me. He thinks I'm like him. I guess maybe we could play that card. I probably could have played that card just then and tried to pretend to be on his side, but I don't know. If he thinks I'm like him, I should try to change his mind about stuff. I don't know. Because we all know this morning. I don't know what that son of a bitch is going to do next. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Because this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us. And that's when we go. It's our opening. We just got to figure out a way to draw them to us. Your friend here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. What is it with you? That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. This shit is all dangerous. Kenny, do not speak to me like that. Sound draws walkers. There was this girl, Molly. She used bells to control yep, yep, yep. where they moved. Yeah, that's right. She had them running all over Crawford. We just need something loud. Well, unless you've got a megaphone tucked in your pocket, it doesn't help us much now. I still vote we get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. Oh, come on. You know about Luke? I was just about to say, yeah. When Troy wasn't looking, told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. If Luke can tell us what's going on with the guards, we can use that to pick a good time to escape. That seems reasonable. Who knows when that'll be? Look, Clem had it right. We just need something loud to get their attention. The PA system Carver is always using is quite loud. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw them when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. There are few along the roof. He's right. I saw them too. Really? It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? She's been in his office. The announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just got to get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Kenny. No, that's all right. You both. Exactly I think both, because Luke's I, I trust Luke, you but put the guard thing, he, Kenny's right. The herd would be a better way to escape. Why can't we do both? Even if we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. He keeps us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. Then that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Okay. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid shit. Hush. What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Now I don't know who's crazier. Trust me, I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. You seem to know what you're talking about. Lee figured that out. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Wow, this, this girl has all the answers. Where the hell did she come from? We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then, just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so you probably won't fall to your death. Great. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on. Up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. It seems pretty flimsy. Yeah, I saw it before. Clem. Yeah, I agree with that. Clem, it's you or nobody, so you're nominated. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? Come on, kid. We saw it before, like, drop that, uh, soil or whatever go. it was. I got you. So I don't trust this, but I guess we gotta try. 
If we can just get to the ladder, I guess I could jump to the ladder. The ladder's probably more sturdy. That's a good point, actually. Oh, there we go. The, the herd thing makes sense, because obviously with the herd, it would cause complete chaos. It would allow us to escape. I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see not then again, I do feel bad for the other people here, because the other people here are going to be attacked by walkers. Back. I gotta let you go. Uh, I can't could be bad. Here. Grab something. The, the ladder, then. Ooh. See, I knew that ladder was going to come in the handy. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. there is a few over there. We're in trouble. Probably don't even need the sound, to be honest. They're coming straight towards us. But yeah, I trust Luke. I want to get Luke the radio, I guess. I need to, if I can find a radio as well, that could be good. But like they were saying, like, if he can just tell us what the guards are, us just escaping doesn't mean we'll escape. There are people on the roofs. They have guns. They could shoot us from far away. You're not going to believe what I'm looking at. There's got to be two or three thousand of them out there. In the two or three lot? thousand? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but I see the dust they're kicking up. So it's in the skylight. Sure. What, about how many there are? Yeah. How can I be? Ah, he's in there. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. We can't go through that way. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for the skylight, but a different one. Where am I going? Over here? Guess I'm going to... Oh, okay, yeah, we're going to go over here. Okay. Well, we got to see that Carver was in there, so that seems like a bad idea already. Okay, here we go. Let's have a look first. No one looks like they're down there. Okay, seems good. Let's go. Go, Clem. 